Okay, these are instructions on how to disassemble this particular SOSTREAM model. I'm not sure what model it is, but that's all that's on it. All right, so first thing you need to do is the um, stand is connected down here with four screws. And you're going to take those four screws off. And that'll allow you to take off the chrome plate. Just slide off the back. Like that. Next thing you're going to do is take out uh, the two screws on the face plate underneath. Once those are out, this will just pop straight off. Should. Straight off, and you're left with the mechanism. Um, so when the mechanism up is up, this will action. So you want to make sure the mechanism is up before you pull off the next piece. And all you have to do for that is you pull out the bar, and uh, it'll just slide right up. And that'll give you access to the, uh, careful of these little um, springs. They might pop off, but you just slide them back in the sides. I don't know if they're overly important. <clears throat> All right, so once you have that off, this is what you need to get access to. It's the, uh, the bleed air valve. So the spring either loses tension or the the tensioner screw backs off. I don't know which one it is, but that'll cause your uh, soda stream to start dispensing air before the bottle is fully carbonated. So with a pair of needle nose pliers, you can get in here and just start backing this valve off. You gotta take it out. Cool, once it's out, uh, it has some uh, plumber's tape on there. The spring mechanism is inside. I've had this apart once before, um, but again, it's backed off or the spring has lost its tension. So. We're gonna have a look at that spring. Hard to tell really, it's a pretty simple valve. There's your seat. Well, anyways, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reef on this spring, get it to stretch out some more. Might need a pair of pliers. How much, who knows? That definitely looks longer now. We're going to see how that works. We'll reassemble it and see if that helps us.